Welcome to another video. The topic of discussion in this video is how sebaceous glands differ from sweat glands. Apart from the basic difference in the secretion of these two glands, that is, the sebaceous glands produce sebum, while the sweat glands produce sweat, there are other differences in the structure and position of these glands as well, which we'll discuss as we proceed through the video. So, the first difference in the structure of the sweat glands and the sebaceous glands is that the sebaceous glands have a lobulated structure with acini that connect to a common excretory duct. So the sebum that is produced in the gland is excreted through this common excretory duct into the hair follicle and it goes around this way and gets excreted onto the surface of the skin. The purpose of this secretion from the sebaceous gland that is the sebum is to preserve the flexibility of the hair and along with that, it also oils the surface epidermis around the mouth of the follicle. Coming to the secretion of the sweat gland, that is sweat, its basic purpose is to regulate the temperature of the body. Coming to the structure of the sweat gland, the sweat glands have a long spiral structure in the form of tubes. The next difference is in the location. The sebaceous glands lie on the sloping undersurface of the follicles and lie within the dermis. Sebaceous glands lie within the dermis on the sloping undersurface of the hair follicles. While sweat glands extend to the full thickness of the dermis up to a point that they may even lie in the superficial fascia. Their extremities or their endings may even reach up to the superficial fascia. So they are the most deeply lying appendages of the skin. Lastly, sebaceous glands are not present on the palmar and plantar surfaces of the hand and feet. While sweat glands are not present on the red margins of the lips, the nail beds, the glans penis and clitoris.